was going to be mocked with the astounding announcement of a new super world government in Europe, perhaps even more powerful, perhaps even greater than either the Soviet Union or the United States. And it will trigger the feared, awesome nuclear World War III. And the prophecies of your Bible says that definitely it is coming. The World Tomorrow. The Worldwide Church of God presents Herbert W. Armstrong, internationally recognized ambassador for world peace, visiting prominent leaders around the globe, discussing the cause of world problems, and proclaiming the good news of the world tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, Herbert W. Armstrong. Now, I forecasted this resurrection of the medieval Holy Roman Empire or the United States of Europe up to almost 50 years ago. The very first issue of the Plain Truth magazine, which came out with the February issue of 1934, and at that time it was, well, it had the most humble beginning of any magazine that I know. Now, the Plain Truth today has grown to one of the great mass circulation magazines of the whole world, over five and one half million copies monthly. Hello. My name's Dean Roger Ray, and uh, I have an important message about, uh, I got these uh, photos, by the way, from www.spirituallysmart.com. I'm not welcoming uh, Thomas Richard's site because uh, I promote revolution. I promote that uh, we should fight these guys. I don't promote that one religion can stop them and we all have to join their faith. Like Thomas Richards, you know, first made the mistake to join the Catholic Church, and then he's saying now that he's found his true religion, and we all have to join it in order to see the truth. You do not have to join a religion to see the truth. Another thing about Thomas Richards is I noticed, and uh, you know, his site is about the best site I've seen as far as Catholic religion goes, as breaking down the Catholic religion and showing you. Uh, the truth. Um, one thing I noticed was uh, that uh, in the on the hive mind, I've noticed that they really like to uh, tell you about uh, Planet X and uh, Zachariah Sitchin, a Jesuit. Zachariah Sitchin, a Jesuit. That's the one who introduced the Planet X theory. And I've noticed that in Subgenius, they. Uh, promoted this same theory and subgenius for all the kids are recruiting and for evil purposes all you have to do is look under uh, YouTube and go to Devival that's D-E-V-I-V-A-L and you can see what the subgenius is all about and you can see the recruiting videos also tell you that there's an alien invasion and all this stuff is uh, Thomas Richards and uh, somebody like he's together with somebody and, and they've put up a site called Unhive Mind. This is all told to me by Matthias. And Matthias he attacked me and on in my group he attacked me and made a whole pile of claims that are untrue and this is while I was away at work and I come back and I had to uh, clean up my site and get rid of him, ban him. All because I was promoting spiritually smart. And, uh, you know, I finally discovered the truth that I had more truth than they had. And, uh, you know, Herbert W. Armstrong had way more truth than them. He predicted things well before William Cooper. As a matter of fact, William Cooper quotes the Plain Truth magazine that uh, Herbert W. Armstrong does. And, uh, well, even like you, you can see that uh, Thomas Richards brings up CIA and exposes Alex Jones really well. And, Exposes everything except for Zachariah Sitchin, Jordan Maxwell's devotion to lizard people. And Jordan Maxwell, of course, 
he just loves Zachariah Sitchin as well. He's a Jesuit, a Jesuit uh, priest. So, so you wonder, you know, why do these guys love promoting Jesuit theory so much and yet run down the Catholic Church? Well, it's easy to see that uh, even Herbert W. Armstrong was destroyed by Jesuits. It was Joseph W. Koch that uh, his father, Vassal de Koch, entered the church from a, from a Catholic church. And Herbert W. Armstrong saw with him a chance to uh, take over, to give his, spread the word to, to Russia before he died. So then he, Vassal de Koch's son, Joseph de Koch, was allowed to continue the church on Instead, his Jesuit agenda took over, and he changed the church, splintered it, changed the doctrine to Sunday, and, and splintered it. And with the exit and escape networks, they totally tore Herbert W. Armstrong's church apart. And the main reason this happened, and of course they used the exit and escape network, the main reason this happened was to destroy, like, just not only destroy the church, but get rid of Christianity itself. That's what the Catholic Church is devised to do. And Thomas Richards destroying the church doesn't tell me that he's not part of the New World Order. Because telling me that the Catholic Church is the highest level is a joke. It's a tool. And it's not the last last of the New World Order. It's not the top. New World Order con continues on with uh, Grail Kings, with, uh, Ring Lords, and Bloodlines. These banksters been around for a long time and they're not stupid. They want to get rid of Jesus Christ. They've achieved that. Definitely they've achieved that. Look at the new population that's coming up. Um, one of the things that uh, concerns me is my mother went to work in her church and she went to work for a company called WIS International. I connected it to Onyx Corporation, which connects to the Power Corp, which in turn connects to, guess what, Carlisle Group and on and on and on. Jesuit controlled, and she said she got picked on. Uh, one of the workers says, "Oh, there comes another two-ton Annie." Called her, called her heavyweight. Started bugging her. She made a complaint, and then the worker come back, and she she said, uh, "This was with the company my mother's working for now." And she says, uh, "She says, oh, some customer complained. I called him too fast, and turned the whole story around. So it's just a big illusion." And that's what they do. They try to confuse things, confuse reality. But it's not working, obviously. And we can all see by the gang stalking, by desperate Jesuits and Masons. And, well, at my friend's house, too, my friend David Ray, he went through uh, a nightmare, too. Uh, gang stalkers gone wild. Uh, turns out they, uh, I don't know, maybe they turned against the government, I don't know, but uh, they started telling David Ray information and Next thing you know, there's a double murder homicide next door. His mother comes out to try and rescue the cat because she hears two gunshots. And so she, she sees, this is what I call a cat over the neighbor's yard. And she sees two people exit the neighbor's place. Two people exit the neighbor's place after two immediate gunshots. And then the papers, of course, the media lies to you and says, well, they were, that was a murder suicide. And it wasn't. David Ray is a victim of uh, gang stalking, something horribly wrong for the bad guys. Um, there's a lot of cover up, a lot of cover up for me, a lot of people chasing me around, a lot of gang stalking. As you can see, I I, I went through a lot trying to protect my mother's uh, Christianity, trying to protect her. But it was nice of the, uh, I think I think this WIS company that. Uh, this Lynn character, I think she uh, offered my mother uh, a trip, offered her a trip for her feast of tabernacle.